Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, uh, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising. A weekly tarot reading for March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. And while I'm shuffling the tarot cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general uh, reading for Sagittarius uh, star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with uh, every single different Sagittarius. So, uh, that being said, if you want a more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me uh, and to give it a prediction for it for the future, just like I'm doing for the uh, few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and $15 for a live private readings. Live call, uh, yeah, live call private readings. So that being said, going to the Sagittarius week, now the first card, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the uh, judgment card. Third card that we do have, that is the positive approach toward the situation. We do have the two of uh, cups. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of tarot, we do have the king of swords. So once again, um, topic, nine of pentacles, negative approach, judgment, a positive approach to of cups and the last one that we do have this is the final outcome of growth um king of swords so it does look like guys that that will be uh pretty much career oriented uh reading that is because uh, of the nine of pentacles in the king of swords here that we do have but with the nine of pentacles uh, the week is going to be very joyful. I mean, the week is going to be very sensational, if I may express myself that way. Dapple with a lot of activities and you are going to feel like very playful. So things are going to happen with ease that I'm trying to say. Whatever you touch is going to happen with ease. That will give the prerequisite for you to uh, make a grand achievement at your behalf or even uh, kind of like place a, a new conquest for yourself. But with the Nine of Pentacles as a very general interpretation, you should um, further your career endeavors and jump and just jump into a, a career. Matters as this card uh, promises a lot of, uh, how can I place it? Um, productivity in there and financial success as well. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Swords, uh, which uh, appears as a, a passive uh, enemy here to the Nine of uh, Pentacles. So uh, with that particular combination, the shade that the Tree of Swords here adds is that uh, you can resuscitate a, either a project or even a relationship that is from the past, but that but with the Tree of Swords, you have to be completely healed from it. So you had recent failure and you still cannot overcome, you can't swallow it. Uh, that means that you should focus on something else. Until you completely heal from that poignant experience from the past and then retry it anew. But in generally, uh, throughout this uh, week, it does look like that you will be able to make a huge correction in your um, in your plans and as well, you know, into your um, endeavors and, and, and enterprises. And uh, that will allow you to conquer what you could not conquer before. That is what the topic is uh, all about. Now, one more thing I want to say about these cards is that you should not concern yourself with the opinion of others, especially with the Tree of Swords, because um, uh, foreign statements, for example, you're not good enough, you know, or you don't know what you're doing, you're clueless in these kind of stuff, should not bother you at all. Nobody, nobody is born uh, taught. So you have some room here to, I cannot say really experiment, but more like try the soil before you make an action forward. But with the, um, with the blessing of the Nine of Pentacles, uh, 
things should not be that hard for you to manage and generally you are to succeed in whatever you try if you don't get intimidated by the statements of others. The accompanied card here, this is going to, not the accompanied, but the second card, excuse me, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the judgment. So the judgment here points or rather like uh, place a barrier, a boundary, kind of like a, a limitations. So uh, with this card, you should expand your limitation and you should, and you need to know whenever you start throughout the week that it can be much more than you initially anticipate. So you start a new relationship, and you need to uh, adopt the standpoint that that thing should go even further than just dating. That's for example, or into one project, you know, you should adopt the standpoint that this project will give you what you need in order to be promoted and so on and so forth. With the judgment card <clears throat> in this, um, in this position, it does once again mean that, uh, that thing you are to be successful throughout this week is just a, a part of the puzzle and you can go far beyond that should you not place any capabilities or limits for yourself either regarding career or either uh, regarding relationship. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the six of uh, wands here with the judgment so formation is active supporters and yeah, well, with the, with the Six of Wands, it's obvious that you should not be, uh, I, not happy, but satisfied, all right? So you are to reach a, a severe milestone throughout the week. Are you going to be happy? Should you be happy for it? Of course you should be happy. I mean, you make a major breakthrough or you have a new conquest to conquer, uh, a grand achievement have been reached, you, re you leaped into your career endeavors, have a financial success, should you, should you stop there? Not at all. I mean, you should not be satisfied with that. You need to try to expand those aims and goals of yours with these couple of cards. And at the start of the reading, I said um, that you can recuperate an old relationship, but such a relationship which is not beyond repair. What I mean with uh, the, uh, the uh, judgment here points that reunion is highly unlikely throughout that week. Uh, in the sense of that, for example, you have an ex who is already having another girlfriend or a boyfriend, that is. Uh, that means with the judgment here is that you cannot recuperate that relationship. But if you have an ex that it is not really an ex, you recently broke up and you still, you know, kind of like trying to sort the things out, definitely things can happen with these, uh, with these cards. It's just ultimate reunion uh, cannot happen when the judgment is in a negative position or rather what you should not aim uh, here for uh, throughout the week. But <clears throat> in generally aim high and don't place uh, self-imposed limitations either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. Another example that comes to me right now, guys, is that let's say you start dating with someone and uh, uh, throughout the week you adopt the standpoint that that thing cannot go any deeper than just dating, you know, that you should completely abandon such a standpoint. Do not place, once again, a limitation and believe that should you place the efforts in, should you be playful and set it for yourself as a goal and as a name, that, could, that thing that you are aiming for definitely can be reached. Now, uh, going for the next card, which is the... Um, positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the two of cups. So this card asks you to cooperate. Uh, that is one side of the spectrum with the two of cups. Uh, cooperate in a sense that you should share your feelings, your emotions, and as well your uh, your plans in general. Now, what you need to know with the two of uh, cups is that if you share your happiness, that will make it double happiness. So you share your happiness with a friend of yours, with your children as well, you know, or maybe with your family, uh, a good a career partner as well, and so on and so forth. And same thing goes for if you are experiencing bad things, so you're feeling very poignant about that uh, failure back in the past that you get to correct 
throughout this week. Well, share that feelings, you know, say how bad you feel, say how you could have done it better and so on and so forth. And that is going to kind of like ease your pain. But with the two of cups, uh, what you should do here is truly put your pride and shyness on the shelf and try to empathize more with people, to interact with them as much as you can and always keep the good terms with the two of cups did i say pentacles i'm sorry so with the two of cups you always should be in harmony with the people around you if there is someone who is disturbing that harmony you should try completely to strain away from them but uh we are talking here that this uh, nine of pentacles things the achievement and the the conquest that you're gonna set should not be solo or should not be a singular thing but rather you should set it in a such a way that there will be as well someone else involved involved there in equal in equal fashion in a sense of that they have just as much is in in it as you do perfect for relationship perfect for a private business when you do have a business partner and so on and so forth uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the two of pentacles did i say two of pentacles yeah oh, well we got it here. Well, the combination, it is a, a passive friends and we have double twos as well. So definitely it's about, it's, it is a about moving along with someone. Two is a very passive number where two, it's about to follow someone else. Following an equal means also mean following, you know, you uh, propose one thing, they kind of propose something similar, but a little bit improved. And you do propose third thing, which is, something improved on their proposal and so on and so forth until you reach a, a proposition that you both like. So once again, we're talking about cooperation. And with the Two of Pentacles is gonna be here and the Two of Cups is gonna be so easy uh, for you guys to kind of like uh, reach an agreement in general with different people and as well with uh, in a different situation that is situations excuse me that is it is because with this combination um, your ego and your your stubbornness in general because everybody is stubborn and everybody has their ego is not going to be on the playing field and knowing what can be achieved throughout the cooperation with either the suitor, a person of interest, you know, business partner or a colleague of yours uh, is going to have much bigger value than you kind of like being stubborn upon your, uh, upon your standpoint and criteria um, as well. So it's going to be much more easier for you to be playing to be playful, to also abandon some uh, uh, noxious performance and as well uh, some uh, some noxious say, um, things you do which are holding you back. And as well, you're going to be very tough on criticism. As a matter of fact, even if there is a certain criticism uh, directed to you or addressed to you, uh, it, it seems that you're going to take it from the positive side, more like a, a joke, more, more like a, a jest here, and you're going to learn from it as well. And uh, finally, uh, for you Sagittarius, is we do have the Queen, uh, the King of Swords, excuse me, which is uh, the final outcome of growth. So we do have a person at the end who, who, who's who sees you in a sense of that they see you capable, that is a, a very respected person, someone who is very high in the ladder of the hierarchy, someone who has a, a very analytic mind, and the best thing is that they can do, they are very, very effective. So they see you cooperating, you know, and they say, okay, that, that's my man, you know, that, that's the one that I need in order to incorporate into my uh, firm, for example, into my business, or that's the one that I like and I want to be with them, just for example. But the thing with the, the very least with the uh, King of Swords, throughout that cooperation, you will have a lot to think of. Uh, in a sense of uh, previous performances, especially regarding this uh, poignant experience in, in your recent past. Uh, you are to recognize, uh, let's say, what you're doing wrong or what you can improve. 
And this analysis that you are going to do for yourself is going to reveal you the way out of uh, the difficulties and the plights that you are may experiencing um, until this week. And the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Six of Pentacles combination that is a active uh, enemies uh, and uh, truly the help of this person is going to breed a huge huge results it's simply this is the help that you need should this card manifest as a, a person or this is the insight or rather like the analysis you need to do a crucial analysis over yourself that will definitely going to reveal you the way how to overcome difficulties sort your things into your relationship or improve your circumstances into your career so very insightful week here guys starting with a, um, a joyful and play, playful enterprise allowing you to make a new conquest of yourself to leap into your career endeavors improve your financial state if you will as well but once again you should not put your limits there and in order to improve it is much better to do so when you cooperate with someone and that will breed huge huge results so um, that being said uh sagittarius this was your weekly tarot reading for march 25th to march 31st 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, the reading itself is going to resonate with every single different Sagittarius in a, in a, a single different way. Um, in a different way, excuse me. So if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal uh, situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a, a prediction for it for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page of it, you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and $15 for live readings. Brad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.